The other day, a new hotfix dropped for Conan Exiles, with fixes aimed at the living settlement system and many of the larger issues that came with the Age of Heroes launch. This video is being made on patch day, a couple of hours after the patch dropped, so please do check the pinned comment, I'll update it with any developments that have occurred after this video was made that I didn't have a chance to fit in. The patch notes are pretty short and sweet, they read as follows. Fixes for thralls being teleported to 000 or off map when living settlements is active, returning all previously deleted barkeepers, the Yarman Boo helmet from Freya's questline now has a proper visual model, thralls should no longer be randomly given debuffs like poison, fixed the enable and disable living settlement system on placeable so they now persist between the single player sessions, fixes for player characters and NPCs falling through collision, and finally, fixes for several erroneous undermesh insta-kill locations on both Siptar and the Exile lands. Now there are a couple of things worth talking about here. Firstly, at the time of recording on the 4th of November, Xbox has not received this hotfix, but PC and PlayStation has. This update was in certification processes last week, so it might be a holdup on Microsoft's end. I wouldn't expect it to take too long to get that out, and he said on the forums that it will be out as soon as possible on Xbox. Secondly, the living settlement system is now enabled by default again on official servers on PC and PlayStation to correspond with the hotfix, and presumably will also be enabled on Xbox when the hotfix releases. It was disabled a little while ago to prevent more thralls disappearing pending this hotfix, so now that it's here, it kind of, you know, needs to be on to know if the fix worked at a large scale. However, if you are on single player or your own custom server, you will have to turn that system back on. Thirdly, the fixes for players and NPCs falling through collision may not be an absolute fix. Andy said last week that the fix for this issue should address many cases of the overarching problem but may not be a 100% airtight solution, so it seems like they're still working on it. At the time of recording, this fix has only just dropped, so I can't yet speak to how effective the thrall teleporting fixes have been, that will likely take a day or two to properly quantify. However, there have been a couple of reported issues from this patch that are worth noting. Firstly, the previously deleted barkeepers were restored, but seemed to be misbehaving. Players on the forums reported these restored barkeepers ignoring follow commands, being unable to emote, and having the incorrect voices. Previous comms apologised for the problem and people just went to get new barkeepers. It was annoying, but it wasn't the world's worst issue compared to thralls teleporting and vanishing, and it seems like fixing it has caused more problems. Personally, from the perspective of somebody that doesn't know much about game dev, I would rather the devs have just taken the L on this one. I did have a bit of a suspicion that restoring the deleted barkeepers would cause some problems, and I hate to say it, it seems that assumption was correct. Secondly, players are reporting issues with the Drowned Vault armors. Previously, they had disappeared from the knowledge and crafting menus. They seem to have returned to the crafting menu with this update, but crafting fails, so I presume they'll be fixed relatively soon with another hotfix. Lastly, players are also reporting issues with the delving bench on Siptar not properly delving. This was apparently an issue before the hotfix, but hasn't been rectified in any way yet. The main focus for all of us will of course be on thralls disappearing. There are other issues with the living settlement system and how thralls behave, but that is far and away the most important one. If the fix for that issue in this hotfix is successful, then hopefully the devs can move towards fixing thralls getting jammed up on tables and the like. Again, it will take a bit of time to get the proper feedback on if thralls are still vanishing or not. Do let me know in the comments if you've experienced that specific issue, or any other issues that I've not mentioned yet. I am making this video not long after the hotfix has dropped, so there's a chance issues crop up that just weren't reported in the time frame I'm making this video in. Anyway, that's about it for today. The first Age of Heroes hotfix is here, with hopefully a fix for the thrall vanishing issue. I'd be very happy to see that big problem resolved so the other problems with the living settlement system can be tackled next. Thank you for watching, and of course, a massive thanks to our wonderful esteemed coffee cultists for continuing to support the channel over on Patreon. If you want to see videos early and support the channel directly, consider joining us over on Patreon, link in the description and pinned comment. Take care, and I'll see you soon.